Good afternoon, everybody. Today, I, I will be making the 180 degree angle fold cube, figure number 26 from the elements of pop up. And where is it? Uh, angle fold, angle fold. Where's the angle folds? There they are, angle fold cube. So this is the angle fold cube. And it's, it's like the angle fold open box, but this one has a lid on it. You can see the piece on the top right there. And, and this is, the, this is um, the structure that makes the lid work. And you can see inside there's a, there's a tube post. And so I'm just going to show you how to assemble the tube post. And this pop-up is a little more involved. It requires some measuring and some marking. So I, here's how it goes. This, this is the base page. And you'll see that the, the position slot here is a 45-degree angle. 245 is equal to 90. That's going to make the perfect box. So this is this is the, uh, the box piece itself. You can see how it, how it folds. This is the center fold on the lid. And the way this works is we, we build a, have a separate little piece here that's, that's the tube post. Okay, so I'm going to put that together. Hold that for 30 seconds or so, you know, the, the standard. Now, the way this works is this tube post must be parallel to this fold on the base right here. This is the tab that slots into the, the, the base page. So this, um, we're, we're, we have to assemble this tube post so it's parallel to this fold right here. And the way that's going to work is, is this is the lid. And so that my two post is going to sit right in here someplace. So what I'm going to do now is measure. So I want that two post to be um, as close to the center of this lid as possible and on the center fold. So there's a, there's a 45 degree angle that goes through the lid and that's and my two post is going to sit right on that 45 degree angle so this the, this box um the lid is about an inch and a quarter or about 30 millimeters so i'm going to use millimeters here so about halfway through the um half of 30 is 15 so i'm going to mark it right at 15 right there, and then I'll make another mark over here at 15, right there. That's my, that's the position that the uh, two post is going to attach onto the roof. And like I said, it needs to be parallel, so this is one of the folds that needs to be parallel to for the line right here. That's where it's going to attach. And another trick, another it's another trick, another technique that we sometimes use instead of, of measuring with a, with, a, with a ruler, we can use a set of dividers. So you take your point right there, put, put a mark in the paper, and then move over here and put a mark in the paper. So using dividers to, to measure is an option. All right, so my two post is here. Glued in place, that's, that's nice and glued. I'll, um, now glue this to the lid. This is the lid. Okay. And you can see this is you can see my folds are pa parallel. This this is the fold. This is the fold on the two posts. This is the fold on the box. And when it's assembled, the lids glued together. This fold on the two posts is also parallel to this, to the tab fold on the base there, the base of the box. Okay, so that's in place. Let's let that dry for a minute. And now we'll put the box together. And look what happens when it, when it folds up, that, that two post moves, but that's okay. That's what, that's the technique basically. You see how we did that? That's the that's the lid right there. It folds in. This piece of the box folds over. 
and now you're gluing the lid, the top of the lid to the, the top edge of the box there. Okay, there, that's let that glue hold in place. Now glue the side of the box tab. And what we've done on this box in the book is die cut a hole here so that you can see inside to see how that two post works. That's what, that's what the holes are for. Just so you can view inside the box and see the structure inside the box. Okay, once that's all glued together, I'm going to Slot the box. Remember that um, that's the tab that slots. So what you see here is, is that lid can go up or it can go down, but it, the position that we're gluing it into, it's going to go, oops, messed up, did that wrong. It's like this. There we go. Now that's there's the position that you want. So you can see my all my angles are coming together. My folds come and they meet at the apex of the center fold right there. That's really important. Okay, let's glue that in place. Okay, now we're going to glue down the base page, or the, uh, the two post too. So here, this is the two post. I'm going to take that tab and fold it back towards the die cut, towards the slot. Okay, now that two post is now attached at exactly the 45 degree angle that the box is attached. You can see here, here's, here's a 45 degree angle, here's another 45 degree angle, and you can see the, because I positioned the two posts on the, the fold on the, on the roof of the box, it's now positioned exactly right there too. So once again, that position is important, that position is important. All right, and now as usual, we're going to glue this together with the, Pop up flat, a little bit of glue there, fold it over, hold that for 30 seconds or more because this, this particular pop up has a little bit of stress on it. So you really want to make sure that that, that, that position or that, that glue tab is, is glued really well to the base page. Otherwise, it'll just pop apart. There we go. I'm giving it a little bit of help because I'm just not sure that that tab is glued down well. Let's try it again. Give it a little bit longer here. See if this holds. There it goes. Okay. And there you can see inside and see how the two post works. And there you go. That is. 180 degree angle fold cube, figure number 26. Okay, there you go. And a little treat here. This is this is uh, this is um, where I've used it in the book. This is B is for box, the happy little yellow box. And here's th this is a different version of it, but it's basically the the same idea, same development. But that there's the box, and there's the happy little yellow box. Hello. And inside the box is a little treat too. So that's how I used this particular structure.